hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel happy sunday how are you guys doing i hope everybody's holding and fine so today we are going to make sierra leone jollof fries yes west africa is a very beautiful continent with different countries different recipes and in sierra leone we have different types and semini by the way so we cook differently from other types we have the mendei we have the madingo the fula different types in a very beautiful country so let's go ahead so for this recipe i'm trying my best to get rid of that vegetable oil i want to start using olive oil in my cooking so see how i'm coming i'm able to balance my health properly so that's why you are seeing the oil is not like the regular oil i'm using olive oil so after the olive oil i'm going to add in my tomato mix i have tomatoes fresh tomatoes i have one carrot and then i have a parcel blended and then added into the olive oil which is already warm in the pot or you can see hot oil <laughs> and then i'm going to go of course and add in my bunch of seasoning you already saw the names i put everything in the list i have my bay leaf i have my chicken beef i have my chicken uh, chicken beef the cube and jumbo cube and then i have my beef cube i have my paprika i have my uh, ginger powder i have white and black pepper and then i have uh, so many good stuff going on you already saw the list passing before coming to me coming here to tell you guys what is inside and then i'm going to add one uh, tablespoon of tomato paste because i already have you know the liquid tomato too much of tomato make your jello fries to be a little bit too like you know like that sour feeling and i don't like it so just one tablespoon of tomato paste and then you can see here i also blend the uh, garlic together with my uh, tomato paste uh, tomato fresh tomatoes which fights it's hardest not to blend nicely but that was okay it gets dissolved later on so i'm going to add we are going to add everything here and then we are going to cover this pot and allow it to cook and then we will be using 500 grams of rice which is when i calculated it it's like two cups i this is my main drink cup i need to cook and then i also use this for my baking purposes so this like two cups of rice brown rice you know i'm trying to eat healthy these days so I'm going to use two cups of brown rice and then after we have this uh gravy paste you know it's come to this uh, where we can see the oil surfacing and beating the tomato stuff we are going to go ahead and wash our rice make sure you wash your rice then we are going to turn the rice inside just get the remaining rice from the bowl and just put it inside please if you're watching my video for the first time today don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share this video and leave your opinion in the comment section excuse my what's white hands like i don't use any oil like i'm dark skin so if i don't have any oil my hands will get white and i don't have oil because i'm cooking i'm constantly using my hands so whenever i'm cooking i'm washing my hands regularly that's why it's very white don't come for me in the comment section i beg you so after we have added our rice and you can also send me thank you stickers to support my channel then i'm going to use this like i this uh, uh stuff i don't know the measurement i think it's like seven liter just 0 0.7 l when i check the the numbers there so just that quantity is enough of water then just put it inside mix 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 so i love that little bit of stuff that is going to sit underneath you know the tomato soup and everything so we are going to do this and then cover and then don't forget to get in your foil paper once your rice is getting to that consistency like the water is finally dissolving you are going to wrap your cover with this foil paper paper you can see aluminium paper cover your rice and then when i open the pot the heat just come up to my camera that's why i saw it's a little bit blurry but it gets cleared off on its own later on so this is like how my rice turned out it was amazing i'm going to add in a picture also at the end so you can see what it looks like aside from the you know the heat of the rice just cover blind up my camera so thanks for watching and i'll see you all on my next video subscribe